hand in hand. The relatives of the 10 boys killed in the Flamengo Football Club fire said a prayer to mark the one-year anniversary of the tragedy. But when they tried to hold a vigil inside the club where the boys died, there was a problem. We need permission to go light a candle. I don't need your permission. My nephew came to you looking like this, and he left looking like this, burned. Most weren't allowed in. In the early hours of the 8th of February 2019, a fire engulfed the dormitory where the team's younger players slept, all aged 14 to 16 years old. Documents show the club had gone against city building regulations and the dorm may have been made of flammable materials. Prosecutors are still deciding whether the fire could be considered manslaughter or homicide. Marilia lost her son, Arthur Vinicius, in the fire. A year later, she, along with five other families, have yet to receive any compensation from the club. This, as Flamengo's revenue last year, stood at 200 million US dollars. She says some families didn't even get a phone call from executives. Flamengo is insensitive. They're turning the page. The club says that it is already doing enough to support the bereaved, and some Flamengo fans have started to turn against the families, accusing them of a cash grab.